Hey guys, how are you? How does my hat look? Does it look too big? What do you think? I just threw it on because, yeah, I was just outside, so I'm like, I'll just keep my hat on. If you live anywhere on the East Coast, you know that it's like negative 30 degrees outside, like freezing, so cold. So I even wear my hat in the house because it's cold in here. But anyways, well, let me just get to the video. Um, first of all, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody and to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. I know it's been a while since, probably about a month since I did a video. Uh, it was just taking a little bit of a break. So I'm back and be prepared to see more videos. So I hope you all had a good new year, 2018. I'm praying that it's going to be a good year for me. So fingers crossed that it will be. So anyways, I want to do this tag video. It is called the best friends tag video. And I'm doing this in collaboration with my best, 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 best friend, Patty Sandberg here on YouTube. She changed her YouTube channel to Patty Sandberg is her name, but she used to be colored sprinkle girl here on YouTube. And she did a lot of like scrapbooking she did painting she did all sorts of stuff and she did she does hauls now so her and i are going to do a collab video together she is going to do the best friend tag video on me and i'm going to do one on her so it's like just a reverse so all these questions are going to relate to her so i'm super super excited she's finally definitely coming back to youtube i couldn't be any more thrilled she just did vlogmas for the whole month of december patty i'm so proud of you and i'm so happy to have you back so yes so i'm gonna get started and go check out her channel to see the video about me i'll have the link for her channel down below and i'll put it like right here so you guys know where to find her and i'll put all her handles she's got an instagram that she posts all the time on got the discipline we are doing the second set of questions. Um, she's just texting me now. So I am going to get to the questions and this, like I said, this is the best friends. I like have like a tear in my eye. So the first question is how and when did you meet? So her and I met here on YouTube. We were subscribed to each other for a while and finally I realized like she was kind of local, like not sort of local, but still like on the East Coast and she, I knew that she lived in New York. I'm like, gosh, and I loved her personality. And I was like, gosh, I would love to be friends with this girl. Like, I think that we have so much in common and we just ended up just started talking. I think, I don't know who messaged who or like I was commenting on like her videos and stuff or like her, her um, scrapbooking projects. And we just hit it off. Like we have been like inseparable ever since. Like we're just, we just get each other. Like I tell her all the time, I'm like, you're my soul sister because she is just a wonderful person inside and out. And if you got a chance to actually be friends with her, you're, you're so lucky. But we met, I want to say like a couple, I want to say like a couple years ago, we met like officially, we went on a scrapbooking, like, I want to say retreat type thing here in Connecticut. Well, not here. I live in Massachusetts. She lives in New York on Long Island. And the retreat was in Connecticut in Simsbury. So her and I, we met for the first time at that scrapbooking retreat. Do you think we got anything done? No. Actually, maybe I did one page. But all we did was like hang out and talk. Like the first day, we shared a hotel room. And we just sat there and talked and talked and talked and talked about our life and everything. Like it was just amazing. 
So, um, then <laughs> it was hilarious because I drove all the way, like it took me about an hour and a half to get home from Sinsbury the last day. And I just, just put, she left and we said our goodbyes at the, you know, retreat or whatever. We said our goodbyes. I came home. It took me like an hour and a half to get home. And then as soon as I pulled in my driveway, I get a text from her that her car broke down on a like woodsy road. So I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, she's like three, almost four hours away from home. I'm like, what is she gonna do? And she called her husband. Her husband left his house in Long Island and drove almost four hours to come and pick her up. So pulled in my driveway and when she texted me, I immediately turned around and went right back to Simsbury, Connecticut to spend like the four hours with her so she wouldn't be by herself till her husband showed up. And we just always get together. She comes here all the time. I drive out there to Long Island all the time. In the summertime we go, we spend one like weekend where I bring my family out to her house and we just like have a weekend of like the beach and the fun because she lives literally like two seconds from the beach. Patty, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'll always be jealous. But yeah, we go out there a lot and she comes here a lot. She surprised me forever. I could go on. I'd, like this video is going to be like forever. So let me get to the next question. <laughs> what was your first impression of him or her? She is a riot. She is just hilarious. She's a jokester. I like immediately laugh when we see each other because everything that comes out of her mouth is just funny. Like she... <laughs> It comes from her family because her sister, her sister and her mom are exactly the same way. Patty, Patty and her mom are more alike than her sister. Her sister doesn't come, isn't like a jokester type person. She's more set back, but oh my gosh. First impression, perfect. She's just hilarious. Jokesters in that family, I'll tell you. It definitely runs in that family. So what's your favorite memory together? Oh my God, I have so many. Can I just name a few? Like going to our house, going to the beach. <sighs> what else? <laughs> you guys wanna hear something funny? I'm gonna tell you this little story. This is gonna be a long video, but it's so worth it. This, this story is hilarious. So I just went to our house back in August. I went to the beach and we had plans. We, had, we heard about this place called Dead Horse Bay which Google it, it'll give you all the information. You can go and like go in, it's like a bay and you can go and like find old like treasures and stuff in the sand. We had plans to do that and everything. So the first time in the day we went over to Coney Island, we went to Brooklyn, we walked around. I wanted to experience Coney Island. That was so fun. It was hot. So then we went over about a mile or two away over to Dead Horse Bay. Well, there's no physical way of getting to Dead Horse Bay unless you're walking through the woods and it's like a path, you know? So we park across the street at this Navy whatever. So I have my shorts on, I have my boots on, my rain boots, and I have my bag. So in case we find stuff that we could just put in the bag. So I said, Patty, how, is this the path? And she's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. It says it right here on the thing. So we get out, we walk down this, we, what's that? We walk down this path and <clears throat> it's, and you're in Brooklyn, it's woods everywhere. Like woods, woods, woods. And they said it was like a mile long walk. And let me just tell you guys, I have really bad anxiety and I'm afraid of my own shadow. So here I am thinking to myself, these are two girls walking through the woods alone in Brooklyn. Like, I'm like, Patty, let's go. And then she's like, yeah, we're almost there, almost there, keep walking. I'm like, I can't do it. We need to turn around. I'm so sorry, I can't do it. I'm like, my anxiety ruins everything for me. I'm like, I, my fear, everything. It just ruins everything. So <laughs> I'm running for my life and she's walking. She's like, <laughs> I left her in the dust because I was so scared out of my mind. And I was crying. I FaceTimed my husband. I'm like, I can't do it. Like, I, I can't, Patty's gonna hate me forever. And she's like, I don't hate you. She's like, I understand. <sighs> I just felt so bad. 
But then the day ended up very good. Like we went to the Brooklyn Bridge. We went over there. We didn't actually like walk on the Brooklyn Bridge, but we walked like through like on the pier and stuff, which was so awesome. Saw the Statue of Liberty. So the day just, I mean, after that little incident, it just got better. Like she, that's the one thing about her. Like she found a way like to like not ruin the day, you know, <laughs> I'm going to cry for that too. <laughs> so yes. I was, I had a perfect day. It was awesome. She's the perfect tour guide. Like you want to find out anything about anything, especially around where she lives. Like I said, she lives on Long Island. So everything is around her and she's the perfect tour guide. She tells you about everything. So that is one of the memories, but I have so many, I could just sit here all day. It's fun. She showed up, surprised me here on my birthday. I just turned 40 years old in July and she showed up here. I was wondering why everybody was acting so strange in my house and here she comes walking through my door. She drove three and a half hours to be here for my birthday. Like, come on now. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was crying. I was so shocked. But those are some of the memories that we have. Awesome would be one word that I could describe her. What is her middle name? Her middle name is Anne. <laughs> I was just, we were just mentioning to each other this morning. We're like, we don't know each other's middle names. And I never even, it didn't even, never dawned on me or whatever. So we just were like, what's each other's middle names? You don't really ask somebody that, you know? So her middle name is Anne. What's their shoe size? I wanna say a 10. I'm thinking a 10. If not, it's probably nine and a half, ten. List three items that he, she always carries with, with her. Her cell phone, um, her purse, and crap, perfume, like body spray. I think she has that with her in her purse, or maybe not. Just three items she always carries with her. Well, her car keys, her cell phone, and her purse. I mean, every girl carries those three things, right? <laughs> Favorite inside joke. She has so many. Like, everything that comes out of her mouth is a joke. <laughs> she just cracks me up. Yes, there's so many. There's not really one, you know? If you were ordering pizza for her, which toppings would she want? Well... She likes to make homemade pizza, and pizza is it, it's her favorite food on the planet. She could eat pizza for days. She loves pizza. She likes frozen pizza. She likes homemade pizza. She loves pizza. <laughs> she likes fresh mozzarella. She likes anything, pretty much. She is so opposite of me when it comes to food. Me, I just like pepperoni, cheese, and hamburg. That's it. I'm plain. But her, on the other hand, she likes everything on it the works she loves fresh mozzarella tomatoes chicken like greens on it like broccoli she likes all that stuff what's their favorite food pizza <laughs> pizza pizza what's her favorite ice cream flavor um don't know <laughs> don't know i never really see her eating ice cream she always wants pizza. What's their favorite music, music artist or band? Her favorite artist <clears throat> band would probably be, oh God, oh my God, I'm stumped. The Lumineers, she loves the Lumineers, loves them. Uh, let's see, she loves, I can't really say favorite band because I mean that is a band, the Lumineers but she really likes like 80s music, like anything 80s she loves. She loves all that 80s, 90s, she loves all that stuff. What are her favorite movies of all time? Can't really say like a movie, but she likes like all the older style movies. She likes comedy. She loves all those type of movies, like from like way back. Her all time favorite movie, all-time favorite movie is Christmas Vacation. She loves that movie. She's seen it a million times. She loves that movie. I don't know if you watch it, Patty, when it's not Christmas, but I know you watch it like a 
million times when it is Christmas, as do I. I do the same thing. <laughs> on a free day, he, she, or, or on a free day, she generally a sleeps late, gets up at a normal time, or gets up earlier. Um, she usually gets up at the normal time. She gets up early because the dogs need to go out. The cats like to eat. She got cats, so she they like to eat at like 5:30 in the morning. Usually, she'll get up at that time, feed the cats and then she'll go back to bed until Harley wakes up and barks to go out. She's got a dog, cutest golden retriever ever. I love him so much. He's like my my nephew, <laughs> I just love him. What does she like and dislikes? Um, Let me see here. I don't know. She likes a lot of stuff. She's not really picky, I'm picky. That girl can, she likes anything. Dislikes, um, I know one, but I'm not going to say anything on here because it's kind of political, but I do know one thing, so I'm not even gonna mention it, but um, there isn't really a lot that she dislikes. Traffic? <laughs> she lives on Long Island, so, I mean, there's tons of traffic there, but. Oh, she hates crowds. She doesn't like crowds at all. She does not like going like to the mall or certain things. She just doesn't like crowds whatsoever. And me neither. I hate when people are touching me. I just like my space and she does too. And she's a homebody. She loves to be at home and watch movies and eat pizza. <laughs> she loves to be at home. Um, and sometimes she'll just go to the store really quick. She loves the food store. Uh, but yeah, those are a lot of, those are her likes. But like I said, she doesn't really have a lot of dislikes. She's a very easygoing girl. What are her strength, in, strength and weaknesses? Her strength is she's always positive. Like you, if, if you're sad, like there's times where I'm like so down in the dumps, I don't want to do anything. All I have to do is just text her, whatever, Snapchat her, and I'm instantly in a better mood. Like she just has that way about her that just makes you like happy, like happy again, you know? I mean, she's human. She has her days where she's sad and things aren't going her, you know, things aren't going the way she wants it, you know? That didn't come out right. Things aren't going well for her, so you know, I always try to be there to help her out and try to make her happy and be there for her because that's what a best friend does, you know. But I don't really, she doesn't really have a lot of weaknesses, she doesn't have any weaknesses because me as a best friend, I don't see them. I'm gonna cry, I don't see those in her, I just see strengths and happiness in her. Ugh. It's the truth, Patty. It's the truth. I don't ever see weakness in you. Um, on to the next question. What are her fears and phobias? Um, I don't really think she has any fears because she doesn't have fears. I tell it to my husband all the time. I'm like, I don't think Patty's scared of anything. I think she's just a go with the flow type of girl and that's what she is. She has no fears. And phobias, I don't really think she has any. She's never mentioned any to me, so no phobias. You know what my phobia is. I, I know you do, Patty. Um, do you have nicknames for each other? I do. I call her Patty Pie. She's my Patty Pie. Um, she. I don't know if she has a nickname. It's hard for me to have a nickname because my name is Amy. What, what goes with Amy? And Patty Pie just kind of just Patty Pie. <laughs> That's what I call her. Two things your best friend doesn't know about you. She knows everything. I told her everything about me. She knows my dark times that I've been through and she knows she knows everything about me. There's nothing that I hide from her. I tell her everything. I think she knows more about me than some of my local friends that know about me. Like like she knows so much more than anybody like probably as much as my husband like I tell her everything and it's always good to have a friend like that and it's so funny because you go through all these friends and you often wonder who's your real friend and to me like 
it's almost like when you're finding like that one person like when you're like dating people or whatever like I went through like complete idiots to find my husband like jerks and then I finally hit the jackpot with my husband we've been together 20 22 years and that's like with Patty and I as best friends like it's like you go through all these friends and then you finally find like the, your real friend that you've been like searching for your whole life like who just gets you and understands everything about you and that is her and I love her for it last question number 20 what do you admire most about your best friend well seeing I have tears in my eyes <laughs> oh my goodness everything I love everything about you Patty like everything there's nothing that I dislike about you whatsoever you're one of a kind you're an awesome friend um, whoever has crossed paths with you and has been your friend is so lucky and I am so honored to have crossed that path where you and I could be friends and we definitely lucked out in like being able to like see each other all the time because we both live only a few hours away from each other so that's awesome I love that we can just hop in the car and just go and see each other granted it's a little bit of a drive and traffic <laughs> that Long Island Expressway <sighs> um, but in traffic but it's worth it I love your family I love you I love everybody and I'm just so lucky that you're my friend. So now that I'm like tearing up and crying, <sighs> now that I answered all 20 of those questions, I hope you know a little bit more about my best friend and I can't wait for you guys to see her video about me and I hope you guys subscribe to her channel and watch her you guys are gonna instantly fall in love with her like instantly it's instant she's a hoop I just love her don't steal my best friend from me though I'm just kidding <laughs> as I told her she's like when she's like I'm coming back to you too I'm like nobody better steal my best friend so but anyways this was such a fun video to make and I'm glad you're back, Patty. I'm glad you're back on YouTube and it's a fresh start. Cheers to 2018. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. Link down below to Patty's channel and I'll put it right here. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>